If you have any issues not covered in this video, please refer to the SteamOS community, there are a lot of posts, and they cover just about anything that will and can go wrong while trying to install or use SteamOS. Make sure you are using a flash drive that supports UEFI. Using disk part you will do the following. 1. Type list disk then press enter. 2. Choose the flash drive you want to make bootable, in this case disk 3, type select disk 3 then press enter. 3. Type clean then press enter. 4. Type create partition primary then press enter. 5. Type select partition 1 then press enter. 6. Type format fs equals fat32 quick then press enter. 7. When the format is done type exit then press enter. Download Steam OS. Save it somewhere where you can find it fairly easy. Extract all the files. Copy all the files to the USB stick you just formatted in disk part. Make sure your computer boots to UEFI, this installation will not work otherwise, this is why you are supposed to use a USB flash drive that supports UEFI, I've tried other methods, and met with failure. If you have done everything right, when you bring up the boot menu on your PC, you should be met with UEFI options to boot from. Choose the UEFI USB option for your flash drive. If you just want to get started playing games, choose the automated installation. If you are planning on using Wi-Fi, it will prompt you to set that up. Warning, even though I set up Wi-Fi when prompted, and it downloaded the rest of the files it needed, the Wi-Fi didn't work after a certain point. I ended up plugging an Ethernet cable in, and finishing the install. I will not try and install this OS alongside another OS for multiboot. I don't want the responsibility of someone wrecking one of their operating systems tweaking and then blaming me because I showed them how to multi-boot. At this point, is where you need to make sure you have an internet connection, I highly recommend ethernet, as you will see, I set up Wi-Fi, SteamOS downloaded more files, and you will see later the error loop. The password for the curing is used for installing other features in Linux operating systems.
Preparing hardware drivers could take several minutes, don't panic, there is something going on behind the screen. This is where the Wi-Fi failed me, even though it worked previously, I ended up plugging Ethernet in to break the loop. I think recording via capture device, and running King's Quest from the same computer caused this interesting infinity issue. No sound, that seems to be a common occurrence for me with these projects, no matter, I will resolve that shortly.
To fix sound issues, find the options icon, looks like a little gear. Go to audio, and select interface. Select reconfigure audio. Make sure SteamOS is using the right audio out options for your rig. Success, you now have sound, and a fully functional Steam operating system. Thank you. 